In these days and ages, it doesn't hurt to be educated on several different topics and to have your level of discernment kicked up into high gear. What is Dianetics? Is there such a thing as white Dianetics versus black Dianetics? Let's take a closer look into Dianetics so that way we're making an educated decision that we're not coming and being set free of one type of a bondage, walking straight into a worse type of bondage. But you decide. Never take my word for it. You can listen to my presentation and then do your own research and find out for yourself. As you can see here in this short clip, Dianetics is a book that was actually written by um, L. Ron Hubbard, which formed a religious structure known today as Scientology. Let's look a little bit into what goes on in that. First, we'll look at the definition. The definition of Dianetics is a noun, a system developed by the founder of the Church of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, which aims to relieve psychosomatic disorder by cleansing the mind of harmful mental images. A second definition for Dianetics, Dianetics, Paranormal, a set of ideas and practices regarding the metaphysical relationship between the mind and body, which were developed by science fiction author L. Ron Hubbard, whom lived from 1911 to 1986, and practiced by his followers of Scientology. Dianetics is intended to redefine the manner in which the soul affects the body. It allegedly provides a means for handling life's energy to enable a greater efficiency in a person's spiritual life. Counseling a client to help identify and rid him or her of emotional and psychosomatic problems. Its primary purpose is to ease traumatic memories in brackets with egrams, which the therapist or auditor accomplishes using an e-meter in brackets, which measures the galvanic skin response and bracket. To look at anything unbiasedly, let's check out a brief description of what this is all about. Bullet point one is L. Ron Hubbard founded the religion Scientology in the 1950s in America. Number two, he began to study the human mind, body, and spirit in 1923, and that resulted in his first few books. Bullet point three, these books included ideas such as people being a separate item from their mind and body, this separate item being a spirit. Bullpen 4. There is now one major headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. Bullpen 5 is the religion has expanded to over 160 nations. And 6. Hubbard passed away in 1986. What is the difference between Scientology and Dianetics? Dianetics comes from the Greek dia, meaning through, and nos, mind or soul. Dianetics is further defined as what the soul is doing to the body. Dianetics uncovers the source of unreasonable fears, upsets, and insecurities, unexplained pains, sensations, and emotions, and sets forth effective handling of these conditions. By the use of the procedures of the Dianetics, it became apparent that the source of these conditions were not cells or cellular memory, but a beingness that defied time. The discovery of the past lives was followed by the phenomena of the exteriorization, the detachment of one's spirit from the body while yet fully conscious and aware. With this discovery and the inescapable conclusion that one is a spiritual being, the Scientology religion was born. Scientology is defined as the study and handling of the spirit in relationship to itself, to the universe, and to other life. Through the practice of Scientology, one can increase his spiritual awareness and ability to realize his own immortality. Dianetics though it might not have guessed it in the early publication, was dealing with the human spirit. Dianetics is the forerunner and substudy of Scientology. What is Dianetics? 
L. Ron Hubbard discovered the single source of nightmares, unreasonable fears, upsets, insecurities, and psychosomatic illnesses, the reactive mind. In his books, Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health, he describes the reactive mind in detail and a laid out a simple, practical, easily taught technology to overcome and reach the state of clear. Dianetics is that technology. The word Dianetics is derived from the Greek dia meaning through and nos meaning mind or soul. Dianetics is further defined as what the soul is doing to the body. When the mind adversely affects the body, it is described as a psychosomatic condition. Psycho refers to mind or soul and somatic refers to body. Thus, psychosomatic illnesses are illnesses in that illnesses caused by the soul. And the last part we're going to look at from their website is how does Dianetics work? In Dianetics, the Modern Science of Mental Health, L. Ron Hubbard writes, The source of aberration has been found to be hitherto unsuspected submind, which, with complete it, with its own recording, underlies what man understands to be his conscious mind. The concept of the unconscious mind is replaced in Dianetics by the discovery that the unconscious mind is the only mind which is always conscious. In Dianetics, the sub-mind is called the reactive mind. The reactive mind does not store memories as we know them. It stores particular types of mental images, pictures called egrams, engrams. Engrams are a complete recording down to the last accurate detail of every perception present in a moment of a particular or full unconsciousness. Unconsciousness could be caused by a shock of an accident, anesthesia used for an operation, the pain of an injury, or the delirium of an illness. During these times, the analytical mind shuts down in full or in part, and the reactive mind cuts in, in full or in part. An engram exists below the in individual's awareness level, yet it can be activated so as to enforce its content and can cause unevaluated, unknowing, and unwanted fierce emotions, pain, and psychosomatic illnesses. In Dianetics procedure, the individual recounts an incident of unconsciousness from beginning to end until the engram is reduced, which means all of the charge or pain is taken out of the incident or erased, which means the incident has vanished forever. In either case, the individual is free of the aberrative effect of the incident and can experience enormous relief and rise in emotional tone. This is the miracle of Dianetics. So why do I bring this to you here now and today? As we know, anything can be convoluted and confused. Any mixture causes confusion. So let's sort it out. Let us first look at what the eight dynamics are that go along with Dianetics, which go along with Scientology, would have to do with these engrams and these auditing sessions. It says the basic sur uh, survive command endured by living beings is subdivided into eight dynamics. The first dynamic is self, the individual including his body, mind, and immediate possessions. The second dynamic is family and children and all other creativity. The third dynamic is group survival, whether friends, a club, company, nation, or race. The fourth dynamic is mankind as a species. The fifth dynamic is life forms, including all plant and animal life. The sixth dynamic is physical universe with its four components of matter, energy, space, and time. The seventh dynamic is spiritual, anything spiritual with or without identity, life force, or life source. And the eighth dynamic is infinity, also commonly called God, the supreme being or creator. We've heard mention of engrams and e-meters. This is such a device, an e-meter. And an e-meter would have an auditor. An auditor would be the person who's trained to do hypnotic type treatment 
to whomever is the person in the other chair holding on to the handles of the device that is actually registering whatever the needle is pointing to until they clear whatever engram is within their subconscious mind in order to rid themselves or clear themselves of it. Signs to look for from people who manipulate in such things is emotional manipulators. They don't believe a word you say. They are willing helpers who guilt trip you. They gaslight and project. They flip out if you show emotions and they minimize your problems. They fight dirty. They are passive aggressive. They always one up you, especially if you're sick. They lie or tell half truths. They blame. They are the conversation diverters and turn everything around on you. And they are always the victim. There are some that are practicing Dianetics and they're calling it white Dianetics or black Dianetics and leading some out of one religion where they're thinking they're coming into freedom and they're actually leading them into a worse imprisonment. Now I know this graph is not easy to see. It's not even clear and easy to understand, but this is their theology. This is the bridge to total freedom. And you start at the bottom and you work your way up. And as you can see, almost like mid section on the right hand side, it says clear. And once you get to clear, then you move up from there. Now realize that an auditor can push you down another level. And I also want to emphasize that every time you have an audit, there's a substantial cost that comes along with it. So every time that you have a session for an audit in order to move up a level or a grade, you, it costs quite a bit of money. And on top of that, you've got your uh, dues that are based on income. So uh, everything in this uh, layout has an expense that is tied to it. So uh, just keep that in mind as you're looking at all of these different levels of degrees of another person gauging whether or not that machine is reading you correctly. And we want to get into a little bit more about that here. So let me now bring up a graph showing you what kind of training goes in to the one who is doing the auditing. Okay, so here we're now looking at a graph for the auditing training. Now, please understand that you have to have fulfilled and been up to the level of clear and then a few levels above and then you can start to pay to take your classes to get certified as an auditor. And your first level would be that you would be able to do up to a level eight auditing and then it's a level nine and you can see in between that it shows you that on the top it says what kind of an auditor class, what kind of a certificate that you are, are receiving as if it's, um, you know, a biblical college or seminary or, uh, you know, a higher education. The course, the prerequisites, what it teaches about, uh, what you're able, what it processes to be taught, you know, in that course, uh, where you've obtained to, and then it says the end result, what you're able to do with said um, gnosis that you have achieved for the a level that you have gained. And if you see there at the level 12 auditor, uh, the arrow at the top is at total freedom. Now, these auditors learn a technique. It is a style of hypnosis. It's a power of suggestion. It is wordplay and it is a power of suggestion to bring in the imagining faculty of the subconscious and to go in and implant or bring forth anything or make false memory. Now, my problem with it is they do not bring the individuals back to full awareness. They feel that the subconscious, where it is actually true that every memory is stored there, the subconscious, as we discussed before, doesn't make judgments. If you're interested, you talk about it, you think about it, it programs it in and it becomes part of the experience. 
for your conscious mind to interact with. Now, if you're going to keep somebody in a suggestible, highly suggestible, docile, hypnotic uh, state and not bring them to full conscious awareness, that brings red flags to me right away, right away with the Dianetics treatment. Am I saying that it was brought forth with ill intentions? No, I'm not because we're starting to come into the understanding of you know how our mind works and how it is much more than just conscious and subconscious you know then we've got unconscious and then we've got the the divine consciousness and then it, and more so just know that you know they're going through these auditing sessions and they're doing the power of suggestion and they actually showed if you if you want to do a little research on it i watched a clip where it shows um in their training that a man says that every time he touches his tie you're going to want to take your coat off when he lets go of his tie you're going to put your coat back in on uh, because he's going to be uncomfortable so and the man kept putting his coat on off on off on off now the man started to get agitated with him uh with the, what the other man was wearing because every time he touched his tie he it made him uncomfortable in his own clothing but he had implanted and left him in a suggestible state the only difference is, is that the hypnotist then snapped him out of it and took that out. Where in these sessions with the auditing, they do not pull the, the person who is being cleared or being worked on in this hypnotic state back into full conscious awareness. Okay, so here they are. We've got the auditor and then we, we've got the... Uh, Oh, they called him something, um, the clear, or, you know, the one who's going to get the engrams through the e-meter removed. One of the first things that the auditor, once having a, a little chit chat back and forth with them, just a little small talk, is then he will ask them to, uh, the woman to close her eyes. And she, she's the one holding uh, the things in her hand, which is gauging on the machine where it is hitting on there, which will let the auditor know whether or not she has cleared whatever engram he believes is being um, buried within her subconscious causing difficulty. So uh, they'll go through this session and they do uh, what they call repeats. Uh, where they will have her, if, if she gets to an area where it's too, too um, traumatic, he'll make her keep on repeating the repeat, repeating, you know, over and over, whatever the statement is that she's saying, uh, whether it be a fear or what is going on, um, until she goes back further, they think of it as, well, then maybe it must have been something that's so buried in, we can't clear it here, we need to go back further. And so they'll, they'll keep on uh, into that trauma until they get to the root cause of it. So, um, and you know, people have different ways uh, of using their gifts and their abilities for healing. Um, for me, it was more of a, it's more of a calling type of a thing for people because we're so colorful. Every, everybody has something different. And again, like I said, as I did the research, I have not seen anything on white Dianetics versus black Dianetics. Dianetics is just Dianetics and it ended up um, being a foundational part of Scientology. And again, I want to reiterate, I do not think that necessarily it was started out as a bad thing. We are coming into, you know, awareness and knowledge about self and, and exploring our identity. Uh, to form a new religion of, around a time that is so much in flow and in flux um, and to be rigid about it is it, it could be very difficult to do that at such time. But um, I want to tell you some other symptoms of Dianetics that you may be able to um, hopefully discern if somebody's trying to use the power of Dianetics over you because there are other symptoms to look for uh, besides being left in a highly suggestible and controllable state of awareness where commands are, are imprinted or implanted into you pretty much at all times uh, because you're left in that 
and the auditing goes on and on and on and on as you saw through that chart uh, how many times it had to be done for you can make any kind of progress within this uh, religious organization so um, let me talk to you a little bit about another tactic that is used so that way at least you know your flags are up and you can be aware and again do your own research okay this is another practice that is well known and and utilized within Scientology uh, they call it triggering and they will get in each other's face they will shout down uh, in order to get a response or actually to make you so you are non-responsive so now think if you're you're going through auditing you're put into a highly suggestible state you're told that your emotions your personhood your humanness is bad and that your subconscious is supposed to be your dominant consciousness and um that's what needs to be coming forward because it records all things and that's the mind that you should be using and they're not really leading you to the divine mind um they hadn't really gotten that far i don't think back in the 1950s to understanding that quite yet uh god was still an outsourced being um and there was still duality and in this uh system as in most re uh, religious systems there is uh, us and them mentality when there really isn't when all things are equal everything's in free will and choice so um, you know choose wisely even when they say that there's white Dianetics and black Dianetics um, you know ra it raises a flag and then when you do a little research on them and you see they're looking for auditors um, so they're looking for hypnotists they're looking for uh, people practiced in hypnotherapy to audit for them and the Dianetics that they're trying to preach for whatever it is they're trying to do. That raised a huge flag for me. I'm not going to tell you who the individual is. You'll figure it out. They will use uh, repeating statements. They'll repeat themselves three times over again in the same inflection in their talking and everything, you know, in like manner. And then they will turn around um, and they'll be trying to. Uh, they'll sprinkle some truth in there. They really will and they'll be you'll be thinking oh my gosh I'm being set free of a bondage of a, a Religious system that was not feeding me spiritually or getting me closer to God at the same time They're guiding you into a worse situation because with their voice inflections they're actually using hypnotic technology and techniques on you Think people please 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 uh, you know learning to meditate on your own and to clear your mind so you can reduce your stress is one thing like I say prayer is talking and meditating is listening but that's within yourself that's yourself sometimes if you need a little bit of a guided or a little bit of help there's people out there to help but everything is a personal narrow path for everyone to walk out for themselves so um, you know anything that's having you seek outside of self please point the fingers back to you your heart and you seek from within um, if they're shouting you down or using intimidation this uh, this specific uh, religion of Scientology also uses excommunication so if they chasten somebody off of the or kick somebody out of the church they keep the rest of their family in there and they keep them so docile and and so in fear and so dominated over they're afraid to leave um, and then when they when they are kicked out or they leave for some reason they use these kind of tactics to harass them in the outside world they'll crowd strike and and do some pretty interesting things um, you know like I said do your own research and the only reason that I'm bringing this up today is because of somebody that's professing one thing to be leading people to freedom uh, is leading them into something completely different and they're open about it too if you listen carefully if you hear the word Dianetics if you hear them say the word Dianetics then do some homework please look into it for yourself okay you'll probably run like your hair's on fire but please please look into what that is all about it is about 
leadership and oppressing brothers and sisters instead of lifting everybody up to the leaders that we all are. Here's nine common tactics of psychological or mind control manipulators. Number one, they like to guilt trip. Number two, they misquote. Number three, they bully and threat. Number four, they'll plead begging and repeating something over and over until they wear you down. Uh, number five is uh, crying, acting, uh, dependent, despondent, sulking and withdrawing. Uh, number six is name calling, personal attacks and criticism. Number seven is empty promises. Number eight is appealing to a higher authority. And number nine, lying either by omission or commission. I want to leave you guys with something cute. <laughs> you just notice I've, I've splashed some South Park in, in through this. Um, you know, any religion and all religions should be taken seriously and, and should be given their due respect. Just be careful which ones you get entangled with because all of them can tie us in knots, right? Well, as I said earlier, I looked for white Dianetics versus black Dianetics. I could not find any definitions or any definitive differences between uh, the practices. Uh, it led me to Scientology and then the practices there and the level system and the Dianetics, the book, uh, pretty much was the foundation for that religious system and talking about the engrams and then using the e-meters and that technology with hypnosis and auditors on the subject and leaving them in a hypnotic state and then shout downs and command orders um it, it was just um it was pretty hard to to um digest it, it really was uh, considering um, I was raised Christian and we have some pretty uh, you know fundamentalist uh, you know uh, what do they call them Bible bashers okay but um, I think I would prefer a Bible basher than to somebody to go in there and uh, brainwash me or have mind control of some sort over there and even when you go into healing modalities and things like that, please, please do your homework on who you are going to and what is going on. And if they do not bring you back to full conscious awareness and supply you with a recording of everything that was said while you were under. That's another thing I found out that they did is the auditors would take notes. Plus, they would also uh, put a camera in there and a recording device and uh, if somebody tried to leave the organization, they would use that information that was uh, forfeited during audits that they would draw out of these people as blackmail material, especially if like you're an A-list star or things like that, to um, get you to comply with staying with the church. Um, you know, it's a scary situation when you get involved into something like that. Almost does sound kind of cultish if they're going to play with your brain, you know? So, um pay attention to that guys you know even when you're watching stuff on YouTube you know st just stay healthy stay whole stay in balance um, we all have stuff we're dealing with at home everybody does uh, we've got our own junk we don't need more junk on top of it so it's time to declutter lighten up uh, reconnect know who we are and get ready to fly it's amazing times we're living in it really is and i hope you guys got something from this i hate making these kind of videos i really do but i was really shocked i was really shocked when you say you're leading them out and just a few short years later i check it back up on you and and you're talking about uh, you know white dianetics and wanting auditors and you know all kinds of weird stuff and you're repeating stuff and you're doing infomercials during your shows and um, I was like oh this is a nightmare and you're twisting the scriptures into some crazy stuff and I'm gonna tell you guys another thing um, you know I got confounded in Christianity okay and that's okay because the same book that I was confused in, when I had my eyes open, I could read it for what it really said, is the same book that set me free. So do not worry. No matter where we're at is where we're met and we will be led to victory. Just seek, just seek with your heart and, and seek completely and you will find. Um, I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, peace.